guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a review of the Louis Vuitton Nail No Way. And I'll be going over the pros and cons of the bag. And then at the end of the video, I will show you some mod shots um, of all the different outfits that it goes with. And it really does go with everything. So that's why I love, 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 love this bag. Um, you'll see at the end of the video. So let's just get straight to it and it's right here and I'll show you. Oh gosh. It's just so nice. Okay, let's just take a 360 view first and then I'll go over some of the details. So here we have this in the mm size. Uh, so it comes in the BB and the MM. So this is a little bit bigger and it looks fairly big, um, but it's just a medium sized bag. And I'll just show you quickly how it looks. Okay. And this one is in the Epi leather and it's in all black. So in the BB, it comes in a few different colors, uh, also in black as well, but it doesn't come in full black. So the string here and the inside uh, interior would be in the blue instead. So I really wish that they had this full black one in a smaller size as well. Uh, but this is so, so, so nice. So this bag is actually my cousin's. She's had it for a couple years now uh, and she's worn it not too many times. Uh, so that's why it is fairly brand new. Like you can't see any wear in it. Uh, and if you were to use it as an everyday bag, I do imagine that there will be a little bit of wear and I'll just show you um, some things that could happen to it but this is like so nice uh, I feel like I want the exact same one <laughs> and actually I did put myself my email on the notify me on the website because once this comes out again I would love to grab one and if they do have it in the smaller size I would also be interested um, but anyway, stay tuned for the mod shots at the end of the video uh, because I'll be trying different outfits with it. So dresses, uh, a suit, um, casual wear, so like jeans, uh, it really goes well with everything and it just sits on your hip so nicely, like your hip and your waist area because of this little groove here. Uh, I love it so much. Okay. So here the bottom is a smooth uh, finish and I'll just show you, here says Louis Vuitton and the tab on the other side says Made in France and the hardware is in silver and here you can also see Louis Vuitton, Paris, and it is so smooth and luxurious feeling. And this bag all together is just so chic. So here uh, in the front there is an embossing of LV and that's the only place it is other than uh, the front front right here uh, and this has a top handle so this also comes in the canvas material in the Danier and the monogram but it doesn't come with the top handle so I know some people would probably be a little bit bothered by that because then you can only hold it like this which is not a huge problem but I would love to carry 
my bags like this. You know, especially if you want to grab it quickly, it's just so it doesn't really like fling around when you grab it like this if it's not on your hip. So if you want to grab it quickly, a top handle is always useful. Uh, so if you're debating between the different materials, uh, this one compared to the canvas materials, I would definitely go for this epi leather here. Uh, but there is a difference of cost, of course, and especially if you prefer the canvas material just for the pattern of it and the look of it, then there is alternatives. You can always uh, purchase a top handle separately through other sources. Okay, so next let's get inside. Actually, before we get inside here, so this uh, is the shoulder strap and it's doubled here and then there's uh, the snaps here, the button snaps that you can undo to make it longer, which I'll just do for you right now to show you. So there's only two settings, I guess you call it. it so two lengths and I'll just show you uh, in the mod shots how it looks on me with the shoulder strap uh, shorter and longer in all the different outfits pretty straightforward pretty easy to use uh, and they the, both the straps you can remove easily, which I like about this bag as well. Like there's just so many options. Okay, so inside the bag here, it's actually all black. So these are two side organizers purposely made for this bag. Uh, and I'll link, or I'll link in the description uh, what brand it is. But other than that, you'll just see two deep slots uh, and there is no, no other compartment inside both sides, uh, but there is a middle compartment here with a zipper and that will fit uh, if you want to put a wallet, depending on the size of your wallet, it could fit. So here, I'll just show you quickly. This is her matching wallet. It is so nice. So this is the Victorine uh, wallet from Louis Vuitton. This one matches pretty nicely together. This actually fits right into the zipper compartment if you just slot it in this way and it fits nicely, but you just want to be careful that you're not really being too aggressive with it because then it will go through um, the sharp part of the zipper so likely you wouldn't put a wallet through the zipper compartment because then you're gonna just have to be like careful all the time and likely you're not going to do that if you're going in and out of your wallet often but if it's not often and you know you just want your wallet to be safe that is a good spot to put it in uh, and also your phone so this fits all iPhones. I know everybody's wondering about iPhones that will fit all sizes of the iPhone. And the inside here, the suede is also so nice.
and this closure here. So with that middle compartment, uh, just for safety, when you close up the rest of the bag, it's fairly tight that your things won't really fall out unless you really tip it over and you have like small things in your purse. But otherwise, likely it's not going to be tipping over because it has a fairly big base and it's so cute. I love bucket bags and I actually do have a review of a Kate Spade bucket bag. So it's similar size to the BB of this bag and it looks very, very similar and it has the top handle as well. Uh, but I do want this bag. This is definitely going on my wish list. Okay, so if you guys have any questions about this bag, let me know. Uh, I'll go over actually the top of the bag again. I was showing you inside, but here uh, the glazing over time uh, bending this open and close. I do suspect that there will be some wear of this bag. I have another bucket bag from uh, Valentino and the top. So my bag is, well, a lot smaller and the leather is really soft and how it bends here, it actually bends um, multiple times. So like the Louis Vuitton uh, Noé, uh, which with that, there is some cracks in the top of the bag, which I didn't really expect that that would happen, but it is expected, to be honest. Uh, but I didn't repair that, but I will show you a little picture and then uh, in a previous or in a future video, I will do a review of that bag as well because I love, love, love that bag. Actually, one more thing here because I didn't mention any cons. So here, there's a couple white spots. Uh, when I received the bag, there was also a little bit of white um, spots at the front here, which was easily uh, wipeable uh, with just a damp cloth. But these ones here, and I didn't want to put uh, or be rough with it, so these ones here couldn't really come off that easily. Actually, they didn't come off at all. Uh, and I don't want to try any harder. So this, I, su I suspect, is uh, paint from the bag getting um, maybe skid like through uh, a wall. Uh, and then it took off some of the paint. So that's what it looks like, uh, which would also be removable. Uh, but over time, if you were to uh, use this and bonk this on places, then I suspect that there could be a little bit of wear on the bottoms of the edges here. Uh, but if you continue to just, you know, be careful not to, like obviously you're not gonna be rubbing it against on bricks and stuff like that. Like if you go through something narrow, uh, then you, I don't think you have anything to worry about this bag here. I love just showing you the strings on both sides. Super smooth leather and it doesn't, hopefully if there's nowhere over time that it'll look like bad and shredding because I know uh, some purses do end up doing that. 
but this looks super, super chic. Wearing this just makes you look so put together. I love, love, love this bag. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will have more for you in the future. Bye.